Hi and uh, welcome to the Code Maven channel again. Uh, my name is Gabor Sabo and I'm, in this video I'm going to talk about a Perl based Perl TK application. It's a really fun thing. Um, but before that I would like to thank all the people who support me via Patreon. It really encourages me to create more videos and I of course would like to have even more people uh, support me there because that would be uh, even better and encouraging more. So let me switch to um, the screen to show you a couple of uh, things that I'm uh, going to show you. So the idea here is that uh, many times you write some application, um, in this case in Perl, that uh, is a command line application and you're sort of okay with that for yourself. Uh, it might be good for running it on, on a Linux box, but if you'd like to distribute it and give it to other people who are running on Windows, um, and you're not comfortable with the command line, then it's um, it's much better to, to wrap it around with some GUI, even if the GUI is nothing more than just a console. So the people, so if you double click on a, on a Perl script in Windows, it will start running, it open a, a text, uh, a command window, which is not really nice. Um, and then when you're done, it will close it automatically. And um, people don't understand what. But if you create a, even a small wrapper around this uh, using Perl TK, that could be um, that could improve the the view or the idea of what uh, people um, understand from this program. So uh, I'm going to show you the the Perl TK application. Um, it's um, I'm going to it's it's right now. Let's just run it. So. Um, it's called text text.pl here. So this is how it looks like. It's nothing special because I'm just de demoing it. So it has a text widget here. And every time I click on this button, I don't know if I can enlarge this so you can see it better. Um, next version, I'm going to create a bigger font here. Okay, whatever. So every time you click this one, it just writes some more text, actually the current date. Um, and so this is the demo. So how you can create some console-like uh, behavior that you just print out uh, the stuff that's happening in your program. So how does this look like? I click uh, left it and I'm going to open this uh, with uh, Vim. And so the standard things that you're probably used to in Perl, I, I'm using, uh, um, I'm declaring as a minimal version 5 fan, uh, basically only because I don't even know if I used in this script. At the end I didn't use uh, 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 um, say in the script, so I don't even need that. Um, I load the TK module, of course, and uh, create a main window. So that's what you need uh, for the for the TK. Then uh, I hang on this uh, main window a text widget. Okay, first the text widget, and then this button widget. Okay, I'll get into that. And then at the end, I call the main loop, and that was source the, the whole TK uh, application. So what I have this. Uh, in the inside is um, that uh, I have this text widget. So this text widget, which is just say creating from the top window. So there's a dollar top to uh, create a text widget. And I immediately started with disabled mode. So I don't want people to type in that uh, window. It's a console only for output uh, in this case. So I Im immediately set the state to disable. And then I call pack just to put this on the main widget. Then I create a button which uh, which doesn't have that much again, it just has a, a, a text on it saying click me. Um, I set the font here apparently already because I thought that uh, it's nicer to have larger fonts. And then also bound the a command, so it's a, it's a subroutine. Uh, so I pass the reference to that subroutine, which is declared here. That will happen every time someone clicks on the, on the button. So that's the command parameter. And then again, this I pack this into, so I add this to the window. Um, and lastly, in this code, code, I have the the function that actually implements what happens when when I click in this case. And uh, in this function, uh, what I do first, I configure the, the state of this text widget. So the text widget is is this widget, right? The text. Uh, to be in normal mode, and that's what enables me to write in it, even my, even from programmatically. Then I call the insert method that uh, just gets the local time um, in scalar context, uh, and then pr print it out with a new line at the end. And then I again call configure to set the state again to disabled mode, so the user won't be able to 
uh, type anything. And that's the whole, whole thing, so you don't need uh, really, really much. I show you again, so this is what, what happens. Now I can't, if I try, I can't type in here, okay? But if I, when I click, every time I click, it uh, prints the current time. And um, that's about the, the, the script. Uh, let me get back to the main page here. So the source code of this script is can be found. Uh, it's not on the Permaven side because it's it's part of my slides right now. So if you go to the Code Maven side, uh, site. Well, actually, let me go to the main site of the Code Maven. So Code Maven, and then you click on Slides. And if your screen is um, uh, smaller, then probably you'll have the the hamburger uh, on the right side and you click on that and then you can fly the slides within the slides you go to the per programming part and here you can find the tk which is at least right now at the bottom you just file the Perl tk and uh, the this current uh, example was the text uh, example so it was just currently called this way so this is the, the example i put a link uh, below the video as well so it's going to be easier to to get to the actual source code, but this is the source code that I just showed you. So I hope that this will help you to create a, a small demo of, of Perl TK. I personally have a lot of uh, fun after lots of lots of web development to create some uh, desktop application. It's actually quite fun. I hope also you enjoy and then if you liked it, then just please follow the channel. And um, if you feel so, then please do uh, support me on, on Patreon. I'll also put that link uh, at the bottom. So see you for now, uh, for the next time.